And there's some there's some fascinating pieces in the book about how television reflects the society that we are part of or, or fails to reflect it. There's a there's a funny one on EastEnders saying it's, you know, it's one of the least ethnically diverse groups of people you could you could meet, you know, and which is rather surprising mm. in East London. And I also want to ask you about the naked civil servant because there was an interesting piece about that and and the, to the extent to which it helped change perceptions of homosexuality in this country, but also the extent to which that wasn't really followed up on um in, in later decades. I mean what what, mm. what what do you think the role of television is in, in that reflecting back the the society we're in? Yeah, well, it's sort of more, I mean, in a way, I think it's more profound than cinema, really, because just to go and see a film, you have to you have to kind of decide to leave your house and go and pay for it, and you have to kind of really make the effort, whereas with TV, it's just in your house, and it's just what's on, and quite often, I mean, I remember my nan, you know, used to change channels, so mm. she just used to watch ITV all the time, so whatever came on ITV, she would just watch all of ITV all day, mm. so that would mean that, you know, she would end up, you know, and, that, and Naked Civil Servant was on ITV, you know, as was... Brideshead revisited, mm. you know, so she would have ended up watching these things that she would have had absolutely no interest in whatsoever. <laughs> mm. But she would just sat there and watch them because they were on ITV, you know, and that was that was her channel. Yes. So, um, and I think I think I think TV does allow you to sort of glimpses of other things that you wouldn't necessarily see because it because it is in your house. You sort of don't have to make the effort. I guess now with more channels um, and everything being a bit more niche unless you are watching one of the really big mainstream channels, you don't, you don't see that as much anymore, really. You know, I mean, if you just spend your, spend your time watching Dave, yes. you just see lots of 30-something comedians being, being a bit, you know, smug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, those, those kind of sort of tribal allegiances is a funny piece in the book about a family who only buy the Radio Times and the grandparents only buy the TV Times. And it's, mm-hmm. it's, you know, the demarcation lines are absolutely rigid. And I guess those sort of mm. tribal loyalties have broken down. Or... Or there, there are many more little micro tribes. So if you want to, you can spend all yeah. your time just watching HBO box sets and never really watch a, a broadcast at all. Yeah, well, that, well, that is one of the weird things that's happened. I think is that lots of people watch TV now as box sets. So they don't actually watch it. They don't actually watch it live. You know, you can watch it on. Um, you know, you can. And there's a whole kind of iPlayer thing as well. I think you know, there's a whole. Those people I know who don't never watch anything when it's actually on TV. They only watch it on iPlayer or in box sets and uh, and that's kind of weird because then if you want to talk about a program with somebody you can't really because they haven't seen it when you have you know they go and see it a week later mm. and you, you know, there used to be a bit of that when, when videos came in but not so much because nobody could work out how to use them <laughs> but, um, but now because it just records whole series and you don't you don't even have to think about it you mentioned Oliver Postgate and it's clear you're a big Oliver Postgate fan and I, I am oh, too yes. but you do allow um heterodox voices you do allow some criticism of bagpuss to creep into the book <laughs> yeah well i tried not i didn't really um i didn't really kind of doctor anybody's opinions because the, the point of the book really is that it is people's actual opinions it's not one of the things i felt was a problem with a lot of those tv theme nights is that they would clearly showed people lots of the same mm. clips beforehand and they all ended up having the same opinion about mm. them you know because they see them in isolation in a screening room 10 minutes before they're talking about it and whereas actually the point of this book was it was people genuine and they could write about anything i, I didn't tell anybody what they needed to write about and they didn't go back and say actually this is pretty news wrong mm. i think you'll find and there are things in there that i don't agree with at all but that's sort of that's really good yes. i think you know i don't i mean you want to listen to my opinion all day <laughs> <laughs> well I, my, the last thing i want to ask you is if you will confess to your guiltiest tv pleasure or else if that's if that's too much if you'll tell me about some uh, forgotten gem you really do think we should go and dig out <laughs> well forgotten gem um my favorite forgotten gem really is um an 80s sitcom called brass mm. which everybody seems to confuse with brass side but it was mm. completely different it was um timothy west and it was it was lots of kind of really fantastic actors and it was set in a sort of fictitious mill town um in the north in the 30s and it was it was like a spoof of everything from Catherine cookson to uh, lady chatterley's lover mm. you know it was amazing and it was just really really juvenile and it had a very similar sense of humor to airplane so if you've got that kind of like mm. absolutely shocking rubbish joke at 100 miles an hour all the time <laughs> so that you can't you can't stop yourself laughing it just makes you laugh and laugh um, and guilty as pleasure guilty pleasures Oof. that's a difficult one because I don't really believe in mm. guilty pleasures really I think um, 
I think, you know, you shouldn't really listen to that little kind of self-censoring <laughs> voice in your head that kind of tells you something's a bit rubbish mm. and that you shouldn't really be watching it. You know, I mean, I, I'm quite happy watching, you know, documentaries or Gardener's World mm. or, you know, Strictly Come Dancing or or um, flog it, yeah. you know, I, mean, I would depend on what, you know, I, I think, you know, all sorts of programmes I really enjoy, it depends what, what mood yes. I'm in, really. Um, you're, a, I, you're a man with a guilt. I, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah I, I think guilt, guilt is a, it's a waste mm. of time, isn't it, really? You might as well just get on and enjoy things. Life's mm. too short for guilt.